Galway were bidding for a first away win of the campaign and they thought they'd taken an early lead. Gary Shanahan's strike, though, was disallowed for offside. Derry were quickly into their stride and were handed a chance to go ahead. Ronan Curtis carried the ball forward to play in Joshua Daniels, who hit the ground under Mark Ludden's challenge. Curtis duly stepped up to take the free kick, brilliantly pushing it beyond the reach of goalkeeper Conor Wynn and into the net. The Candy Stripes were up and running with just five minutes on the clock. And it took Derry just four more minutes to double their advantage and leave Galway with plenty to do. Barry McNamee was the provider, crossing for Nathan Boyle to head the ball across win and into the goal. Derry were well on top now and pushing to try and kill off the Galway challenge well before the game reached half-time. They nearly had more joy down their left side with McNamee getting in behind the Galway defence before sending in a shot that win saved. Despite being under pressure, Galway halved the deficit to give themselves some hope with the long ball out of defence setting the platform for the strike. Ronan Murray clipped the ball into the path of the inrushing Shanahan who timed his run into the penalty area perfectly to fire home for Shane Keegan's side. Galway were lifted by Shanahan's goal and they nearly levelled before the break. Murray had the attempt from a free kick which Ger Doherty managed to tip over the crossbar at the expense of a corner kick. Derry stepped up their game again when play resumed and Curtis had an opportunity to re-establish a two-goal cushion for them. Following a corner kick, Curtis sent in a shot that cleared the crossbar as the frustrated striker was left to wonder about what might have been. As the rain came down at McGinn Park, Galway continued to search for an equaliser only to be denied this time by the crossbar. Murray's cross found Vinnie Faherty, whose half volley hit the woodwork and Shanahan couldn't make the most of the rebound as Derry managed to stay in front. Kenny Shields' side were living dangerously. Murray was causing Derry more problems here, but they were quickly able to turn defence into attack and carve out a scoring chance of their own. After McNamee's long ball forward, Curtis sent in the cross for Boyle, but his header on target was blocked by Lee Grace and Galway were able to clear. Still, Derry were not happy to sit back and defend their slender lead. Dean Jarvis broke into the penalty box before finding Boyle in space, but agonisingly for him and Derry, his shot came back off the post. A long throw in for Galway almost presented them with a last gasp opportunity to earn a point, but even with win forward, nothing came of it. Derry's unbeaten run then extends into double figures after a 2-1 victory in an entertaining game.